Next story, researchers at the University of Houston believe they have developed a fentanyl vaccine that could prevent the drug from entering the brain. A breakthrough in the medical community, researchers have called the discovery a, quote, game changer to save countless lives. And for context, this number is staggering. Just one kilogram of fentanyl has the potential to kill 500,000 people. Joining us now for a closer look at how the possible fentanyl vaccine could help with the nationwide opioid epidemic, research associate professor at the University of Houston, Dr. Colin Hale. Doctor, it's good to see you. Thanks for having me. In a past interview, you said authorities were able to confiscate enough fentanyl to kill everyone in the United States. Tell us why this potential vaccine is so pivotal right now. Well, as you know, there's an epidemic uh, in this country with um, fentanyl overdose, uh, opioid use disorder, and the present treatments that we have are not working. So we need a novel treatment strategy. And I believe that our anti-fentanyl vaccine will address this problem. And there are some limitations to what the vaccine could do. For example, it cannot stop an accidental overdose. What can the vaccine do? Well, it, it can stop uh, an, an a accidental overdose if the individual has been vaccinated previously. We, see, we also see this vaccine as a relapse prevention agent, and it will be uh, part of the uh, treatment uh, with usual maintenance therapy when the individual is uh, under rehabilitation. I see. So if someone has this vaccine, and, and just help me understand and break it down in, in layman's terms, uh, if someone has the vaccine and they are exposed to fentanyl, accidentally or not, um, it will not enter the brain and it will not have a chance to harm or kill, or kill them? That's true. Um, this vaccine is much different than your typical vaccines in that we usually uh, give a vaccine and we develop antibodies against a bacteria or, or a virus uh, or another pathogen. Our vaccine generates antibodies against a chemical and that chemical is fentanyl. So if a vaccinated individual does consume fentanyl, those antibodies bind to the drug and prevent it from getting into the brain, where it could uh, stimulate uh, euphoric centers or uh, even cause uh, overdose and death. Instead, those antibodies bind to fentanyl and keep it into the blood, and then eventually it's eliminated from the body. It sounds incredible. During lab studies, were there any adverse side effects? No adverse side effects. We have done hundreds of, uh, used hundreds of of animals doing the required preclinical studies with mice, mice and rats, and the, the vaccine looks uh, very good, very safe. How, how long until something like this is, a, is widely available? We hope to start uh, phase one clinical trials in humans in about 12 months, and that would be phase one clinical trials. Then we would have to go through phase two and phase three, which would, which would take about two to three years. Dr. Colin Hale, it certainly is exciting. I can understand why it's being hailed as a potential game changer. I know there's a road ahead, but I certainly appreciate uh, you breaking this down for us. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.